Welcome back to Mark's Minute, the best place for honest, one minute, no BS reviews for movies in theaters today. Avatar The Way of Water is finally here and you're probably thinking, is this gazillion dollar bladder buster worth seeing? Gun to my head? Absolutely. But let me explain. While I admired the original Avatar technically, I didn't care that much for the characters or story. I'm pleased to tell you that in this sequel, Cameron has spent a lot more time here with character development and world building. The Na'vi feel much more fleshed out and lived in than the original, and so does this setting. The art direction in The Way of Water is nothing short of stunning and magical. Every frame in this movie is a feast for your eyeballs. The detail in these pixels is jaw-dropping. But graphics aside, what kept me engaged in a story like this, when compared to the assembly line crap that Marvel and DC continue to churn out year after year, is that Avatar actually has stakes. The creatures in Avatar are mortal. They can be wounded. They can be killed. Unlike these superheroes, in these dime a dozen comic book movies spending hours battling each other, when in the end, they can't hurt one another because they're superheroes. Why do I give a crap? My repressed anger for comic book movies aside, I think you should see Avatar The Way of Water in 3D on the largest screen possible. You will have a great time. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more honest, one minute, no BS reviews.